Hello. So, as I said in the community post, I'm going to be doing a bunch of Christmas videos. Good job. Um, and the one that you're going to be seeing today is a time lapse that goes across several days. I think it's about six. I'm still currently working on the blanket while filming this, but I literally have 10 rows left. Uh, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I didn't count. That's just however much I have left in this bowl. But, yeah. That, we're going to be crocheting a blanket across several days, and you're gonna watch a time lapse of me crocheting a blanket across several days. And I will do, I would say I do little check-ins, but I literally have nothing left to check in on. So, so the video is a bit longer. I am going to be working on some little market bags as well. And it's going to be a fun time. I'm going to quickly, before I start crocheting, stock my Red Bull fridge with Monster. I know I'm terrible, but I am going to do that and then we shall crochet. is I'm almost done with the blanket now I have like 10 rows left um I'm just recording this bit now and this is gonna be like in the middle of the video um but I'm almost done with the blanket and I have decided right this video is gonna be like or has already been kind of like a week of me crocheting but we're also going to include a bag I started last night for today me um in the same video i will be crocheting it the same day as today because i'm finishing this blanket today because aggravating also if you're wondering why i look like this i just woke up and decided this so uh yeah i'm working on the blanket it's laying um 
and I'm crocheting a market bag also um because I live in Pittsburgh and the city of Pittsburgh banned um plastic bags the other day so whenever I go to the strip I want to be able to buy things and have them in a bag but they do no longer allow plastic bags so I thought crochet bag it's not even over there I don't know why I did that um I don't know if I'm doing a time lapse of the rest of this blanket I might but I'm gonna get like dressed and stuff first I've done like four rows since I woke up off camera um most of this blanket was done off camera that's just I have school and I'm mainly crocheting class because I do online um but I tried to crochet on camera as much as I could for vlog miss whatever the crap I'm doing here <laughs> um it'll probably be um there's gonna be a lot of videos out that are longer and this is going to be the first one out but um most of the videos are going to be crocheting because I'm crocheting what three sweaters um a bunch of hats which I already have a bunch of hats made I just need to go through them all um yeah I'm just lots of work so to be working on this in this video it's a market bag i mentioned it i think in the beginning may have mentioned it in the middle i don't remember um but i also am going to be making a tail for my friend because they are also a furry and she tried to make a tail the other day and it looked really bad so i'm going to give her one for christmas um and this is the yarn left over from the blanket and she likes green and this is only green so i'm thinking i'm going to mix it with some black maybe so we're going to do this part of the time loops first and then we're going to work on the market bag because it's really frustrating for me right now um this is how long the strings for this are going to be so i need to find my book to wrap it all around and we will be good Thanks for stopping at the intermission.
Hi, hello again. Um, I've gotten all of the fluffs brushed out, and it's going to be wonderful. Um, I need to get my scrap yarn and make a tail braid. I don't know if I'm going to be making it, um, um, with the black like I said I was because that actually might be enough I'm thinking oh wait I actually I have braids made I don't know where they are though so I'm just gonna make a fresh one um this didn't work hold on I'll do this in the time lapse but I'm going to start it now it's easier But, um, this might actually be too long, but I can always cut it. Um, as I was saying, after I'm done with my friend's tail, I am actually going to, um, I think I'm going to crochet one of those hats I was talking about because I'm also crocheting this friend a hat because they like hats. Forget entirely what I was just saying. I am almost done with all of her stuff, and then after I make this and um, the hat, and I might actually finish this bag in this video. I have not decided how I feel about the bag. Um, then I might be done. For this video, I have not decided yet. Um, I don't. I will do a tutorial eventually on how to make a tail, and I probably should do it for this one. But, um, you literally, like, I'll put up a tutorial a different day. It could be, mayhaps. <clears throat> oh, that was a gross cough. I'm so, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, I may do that for part of the vlogmas, but I have not fully decided everything I'm doing. I know I'm going to have a video for each sweater I make. And then obviously the video that you're watching now, this is going up December 1st, but I've started making the uh, the, the stuff for this video on, um, well, in, what's it called? November. Um, it, today is November 11th. I started this on November 8th. But... Yeah, these strings will be cut off, so it does not matter. I put it in my mouth, oogly boogly. Um, this is also a friend that, like, best friend. Known them since they were three years old, and I was six. So I think I've known them for... Like, nine years. Ten years. Take summer leave, like add more or less ten years. Um, I 
need to stop getting sidetracked, and I actually do. Um, but yes, I am going to go into time lapse now because. Mm hmm. <laughs> because, yeah. I will see you after I'm done with this braid. Well, actually, probably not, because I'll probably just go right into sewing it, but yeah. another check-in um i am done with the bag if i can get it to sit properly um my storage will be screaming after this video is finished but it is okay because let me just sorry i'm using my head as leverage um i've making a lot of cool things i think I'm going to make another tail. This isn't necessarily for anyone, but I found this. And I have brown, and I had extra fluffs from the black tail I made. And I want to make, like, a realistic-looking tail, because I've never done that. And I think they look really cool. Um, I don't feel like spending money on a fake one. And I don't want a real one. So, I'm going to make one. It's going to be brown, white, and black, I think, because that's what I have. But the bag turned out how I wanted it. This is the only one I am making, however, because this bag is so aggravating to make. The tutorial was good, but I, I don't like that there's this much. Like, I would have rather it had been sewn up along the sides. I'm saying maybe like a bigger bag like this because like things can fall out of this like i'm i'm strutting through the streets with my with my oranges let's say i have oranges i don't know why um but i'm strutting through the street with my oranges and oh my god they fall out the back my oranges like where did my oranges go but Anyway, I'm going to now make <clears throat> the fluffs. I'm not going to brush them out till later because I have things to do today. Um, but yes. <laughs> It's now the 13th of November, um, and, well, I meant to film for the tale that I was making that I said was going to be a realistic one. I meant to film that for the tutorial, and guess what I filmed absolutely none of that for the tutorial. Um, so I might be making another tale, um this is the braid it's really simple i think i can still make the tutorial with what i have i can always use another braid and i have a crap ton of scrap yarn that i'm never gonna use um but this is for the tail i'm making a fox tail 
and it is going to be white, black, and brown. Um, this is the brown brushed out. This is the black brushed out. This is the white brushed out. Um, I still have one, two, three, four, five clusters of the black to brush out, and I have all of this brown to brush out. So, we're going to slay so much. Um, I just need to show you how to make a braid. And I can, um, I'm going to need to make more, um, black fluffs, I think. Or get another color of brown. Anyway, because that's a really long braid. Where did I put it? Literally, where did I just put I'm going to have to look back at the video, but where did I just... Oh, it's on the floor. Why did I throw it? Can somebody please explain to me why I throw everything? Because I don't know. Um, But this is the tail. It's like roughly two feet long. It's not going to be that long because... No. Um roughly two feet long maybe like one and one foot eight inches is what we'll call it this is just gonna be a big tail i've made a three foot tail before but it took forever and then obviously if you watched the beginning of whenever i started making my fursuit we don't talk about those videos either they might get deleted um then you will have seen the monstrosity of a tail I made with literally 3,000 wefts. These are the wefts. 3,000. Probably even more than that, sorry. I had um, dead skin on my thumb that snagged. Um, literally 3,000. And most take like a couple hundred. Yeah, this will probably take about a thousand, I'd say. I don't know. It's a lot. Um, and I'm going to show you guys also how to sew it on because that's where most people mess up. Well, actually, most people mess up at the brushing. You want to have a good brush, like a like an actual pet brush. Don't use a hairbrush. You need a pet brush. Like this one's spiky. I've never used one of these before, but I really like it. This is the one I got for my fursuit head because it was atrocious and I didn't have a proper brush for it. So I was like, haha, let me, let me do something. I um, did dishes for my sister and she bought me this, so love that. Um, but also more into the video that you're going to be watching for for the next videos um i don't think i'm doing one every day for the vlogmas not a long video anyway maybe once a week because i really do not have time for that i will do shorts every day though because those are easy ish um and i will do other things so so hello, um, this may or may not be, um, the 28th of November now, when I heard the last time, I'm pretty sure I did a little check-in or even any of the time lapse, was, um, I think the 15th. I did complete some things. I so far, what do you have seen in this video that I've actually finished and completed? Um, I completed the blanket and the one tail for my friend. Um, I haven't completed the realistic tail because it made me really angry and it is currently sitting in a drawer. Um, I think that's going to go over into the next video. However, in the next video, I'm going to be crocheting even more because I just have so much to do. And I also might end up working on Rex, the Dynamask. Um, 
the thing is though, <laughs> for the next video if it's sweater, I'm already halfway done with the back panel for the sweater. So, fun. I didn't film any of it. Um, but I still have to make the arms and the front panel, so I can still show you how you start the sweater. Um, I'm probably not going to have a pattern for it because I am freehanding it. I'm not giving you a sneak peek. It's just green. Um, so fun. And then I will be working on two more sweaters after that. One of them will be a cat sweater. This one is just plain green. It's a cardigan, actually. Um, and the other one will be a clay, well, that's the color of the yarn, clay-colored sweater with a peach stripe going down one side of it, which is going to be fun. Um, and the cat sweater is just a gray sweater with cats on it. It's, um, let me see, I don't know who the pattern is by that I'm using. Hold on, I need to, I'm watching a different video. It's not a tutorial though. Um, I'm just someone crocheting, so let me find it. It is by VV Crochets. So, or VIV Crochets. Viv. We'll go with that. We're going to go with Viv. Um, and it's the Crochet Vintage Cardigan Sweater Tutorial. Or Cat, Catagon. I don't care. <laughs> um, and I'm doing that. So. We slay. Um, this is the end of this video. Because I'm pretty sure it's at like 20 minutes. So. I will see you in day two or week two, whichever one I decide to do. If I post once a week, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I will also be working on a fursuit outing video, giving you guys some sneak peeks. So, bye, au revoir.